you know that summer obviously is a great time to have family and friends over, but what if they show up last minute? Like, what uh, do you do? Like, they just, hey, we thought we'd pop by. You know, I think this is more of a women's problem than a guy's problem, because I'm sure the guy is calling saying, oh, yeah, so-and-so's coming over. He totally, he totally <laughs> is. I did that to my wife last night. I said, literally at like 4 o'clock, I said, oh, my brother's in town. He's coming way, for dinner yeah. tonight. And she was yeah. like, yeah, thank you so much. But here's somebody who can help with that. Over in the kitchen, we've got another Kimberly. We've got Kimberly Kennedy. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing over there? I heard you and Kimberly Locke chatting about what we're doing today. Well, I thought I'd bring along some things you can keep in your pantry so when those people ring the doorbell, you'll have stuff to feed them, give them some food and some drink. I like it. Well, the summer is a great time to stop and visit friends, but what about those unexpected friends that visit you when you're not planning on having guests? Here to make sure you're always prepared for impromptu entertaining is the author of The Art and Craft of Entertaining, Kimberly Kennedy. Thank you. Hi. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. So this is a good one. We don't necessarily think about how to just be ready That's to right. entertain. It's actually very easy. People don't realize that there's a lot of things they can keep in their pantry, so they have it all the time. Right. And when someone rings the doorbell, give them a quick little bite to eat and a little drink, and they'll think you're the hostess with the most. <laughs> uh, so well, show us what we can have. I'm always afraid of buying stuff that's going to go bad, like of having exactly. stuff and then it goes bad. Exactly. Well, the first thing you can do that's very easy is to keep a bottle of bubbles in your fridge. Nothing's more festive than a bottle of bubbles. <laughs> I love this Prosecco. This is a very inexpensive Prosecco. It's under $15. Uh, it's called Mianetto. And I love the packaging, too. It's beautiful. This is the type of thing that you pop the cork as soon as they get there, instant party, even if you do nothing else. Great. But the first thing to do to easy is to put out some nuts or olives. Everyone has those. They, it, the shelf life is really long. Forever, right? yeah. So that would be a good start. Pour out a bowl of olives or maybe a trio of some nuts and chips. And this, this is really cute. This is easy. Cheese straws in the south. Yeah. And the know. presentation <laughs> is cool. The presentation makes you like the pro right good. there. I like that. It's, it's having the platters on hand, too. So, yeah, that's a good start. And then you can kind of round out your pantry with more um, exciting ingredients that maybe some things people haven't tried. Okay. So um, one of the things I move once I go on from the nuts and uh, the olives is other pickled items. A lot of people might not have tried pickled ramps or especially those little French olives, things like that. These will stay in your pantry forever. So you can have them on hand, pop them out, and it's a conversation piece. People say, what is that? I've never had that. That's a pickled, exactly. a pickled ramp? What is it, a ramp? Yeah, pickled ramp. It's a I'm southern thing. Yes. <laughs> I was hoping she just got a natural like go into it. Well, there you go. You, so that's a perfect example. They, I bought this in New York. So this is, an, this is something that's available across the country. Available, okay. Yes. And, um, and, you know, also another thing you can have on hand, which doesn't have as long of a shelf life, but is still pretty long, is cheese. Right. And so if you can find some, look at the expiration dates. Pick a couple. I like to usually pick a goat, a cow, and a sheep, maybe. Mm -hmm. Throw in a blue. Keep it in there. And if it's going to expire, just eat it one just night. That's yeah. like the best dinner that's ever. A good, that's a totally good dinner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. So if you have, you know, a little bit of that, and then round it out with some charcuterie. This stuff lasts forever. These packages, I bought this one at Costco. It has over a year shelf life. Yes. Wow. Some people might say, is that good? <laughs> it is. It's big, uh, well, you know what? You're right. It's air sealed. And the, okay. and the idea behind it's aged meat anyway. So I think the idea is. And it's yeah. one of those things that as long as you don't open it, right. it's, it's fine. That's the key. Don't okay. open it. And that's kind of true for the cheeses, too. When you have guests over, you don't want to give them a half eaten slice of brie, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so if you've been picking on it, then go ahead and then don't put that out. But um, always reserve, you know, at least one or two pieces in your in your crisper drawer. Um, and it's, it's an instant party. And what's easier than putting cheese on a plate? You've also got a lot of these little jams and, these, and dips. These are great. This is what makes you look spectacular when you pull something together in a, in a few minutes. When you round out your cheese and your charcuterie platter with things like these um, fancy preserves that might have herbs in them or these fruit paste, which are actually available at all grocery stores, not just specialty markets, these pair really well with all different kinds of cheeses. And they come in everything from cherry to pear to quince paste and apricot. Um, inexpensive, and they last forever. Uh, very good. A uh, spicy mustard, great accompaniment mm. to charcuterie. Nice. Are we, we going to put together a plate? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come over here. But what I love about this is the fact that if you travel, you can pick up a little something here or a little something there. Yeah. Exactly. Say, and then it becomes a conversation piece. And exactly. you can say, oh, where would you get this? Well, I got this while I was traveling uh -huh. in Ohio. Exactly. Or exactly. Well, I love conversation pieces, too. That's why one of the reasons I brought that Ray Midas right there, that's, that wine is a suave, mm -hmm. which is 
it's like the alternative to a Pinot Grigio. It's crisp, it's light, it's perfect for summer. Again, you break it out and people say, what is that? So anytime you can incorporate cheese, wine, anything that's, that's unusual. Right. So what I've done here is I basically got all the ingredients there and it's just about presentation. Have some platters around your house. As soon as the guests get there, drop out some Put olives. olives in. Yep, that was easy. That was easy. Put some cheese down. And this is very colorful. That's what I like about it, Next. too. It doesn't look boring. Right. And you want to think about that. When you're putting together and you're selecting your meats and your cheeses, in addition to the different milks that they use, think about how they'll look together uh, when you put them together on a platter. Look at this. But, this that's yeah, so easy. It's, I know. This looks like something out of a magazine. And I we're know. just grabbing it out of the pantry. And then all and the extra things are some dried fruits and some pickles. I've got these here. I didn't Fantastic. realize I had them in front of me. But. I'm going to let you finish that up. We're going to take a break. But when we come back, Kimberly has got even more ideas for us on how to entertain when you're not expecting to be entertaining. Don't go away.